Okay, thank you, everybody. My name is Biram Sar. I am uh, a tourism researcher from the University of Las Palmas in Spain. So currently I'm in Canada um, as an international research trainee. So the presentation today is deal, will deal with uh, the title, Understanding Community Disaffection to Participate in Tourism in Protected Areas. And uh, we special focus on the theory of social representation that is widely used in tourism studies now. Okay, so the objective of our research is to, to explain the attitudes and the behavior of rural communities surrounding a national park uh, in Senegal. I'm from Senegal in Western Africa. So the study is based on, uh, is based on protected areas in Senegal. So the main objectives are first to explain the attitude of rural communities neighboring the national park of the Lang de Barbary. And second, to prove that social representation theory, contrary to social exchange theory, can support the explanation of attitude and the behavior of rural communities. And in the third, the third objective is to analyze the heterogeneity of social responses uh, toward tourism through a cluster analysis we will show uh, in the further lines. And last, uh, to provide some useful insights to effectively empower rural communities in tourism. So just to explain that um, this article was published in the scope of my thesis. And uh, we tried to, in the first part, to show the, the social representation, rural communities ascribe to tourism, to tourists. And once we manage to cluster these communities, we will uh, propose approaches to empower these communities in the tourism system. Okay. Okay, so in these slides, we try to, to show the difference between the social representation theory and the social action theory. Because before many scholars or many researchers, they relied on the social action theory to explain the behavior or the attitude of host communities in the tourism. And uh, there is a, other studies who rely on the social representation theory. And we think that in the scope of our studies, social representation theory is more uh, appropriate to show communities representation because social representation theory uh, takes into account culture, religions, and the colonial legacy that shaped the governance of many protected areas in Africa, including Senegal. So the setting of the, of the studies. Okay, so the antecedent and the justification of uh, this study is that uh, we noticed that uh, in many countries in Africa, local communities are expropriated in their lands and these lands serve are protected areas, okay? So there is expropriation, one of the antecedents. There is also a tourism knowledge shortage. That is many communities, they don't understand how tourism function, okay? Because they are marginalized, they are not trained. So all these factor make a community to represent tourism instead of trying to understand it, okay? So this form part of the antecedent and the justification of the representation uh, um, appear through behavior, attitude, perception, or even stereotypes people have toward tourism. Let me give you just an example. For example, in uh, 
in this area, when you discuss with many communities, they compare tourism to, okay, foreigners, okay, to, okay, to prostitutions, okay, to evil, to something that is bad. This means that they don't understand really how tourism function. And also because they are not so well involved or empowered in this uh, activity, they keep on ascribing bad representation to this activity that is very important for the local development. So here we try to, to show the process of the uh, social representation. Okay, so there are two elements that uh, uh, made a social representation. The first one is called the anchoring, and the second one is the object objectification. Okay, what is anchoring? Anchoring is a process through which uh, that reduce the strange or foreign ideas to ordinary categories and images by setting them in a familiar, con familiar context. Okay, an example of anchoring of tourism is that local rural communities, they equate tourism to a foreigner, that is a, a person who is from another country. Okay, for them, only foreigners can practice tourism. Okay, and this can explain also the the fact that many locals, they don't practice tourism, okay, beyond the economic factor, but for them, tourism is only dedicated to, to foreign people. So as regard to the objectification, it turns an abstract idea into something concrete. For example, the hostel or the hospitality sector form part of tourism. For example, many people, they objectify tourism through hotels. For example, for them only the hotel industry is uh, represent tourism. So these two elements are very important to understand the social representation that is anchoring and objectification. Okay, so here is the setting of our studies. As I already explained, it is uh, called the National Park of La Langue de Barbary in Saint Louis. It is in the northern part of uh, of Senegal in Western Africa. So our study was uh, uh, implemented in the national park of La Langue de Barbary. And uh, yes. Okay, so here are the different communities surrounding these protected areas. So we, we submitted a questionnaire to 230 person uh, from these 10 villages. Okay, so here we have the number of inhabitants and the percentage of each uh, village. So the questionnaire, the survey, and the focus group were distributed among these uh, communities. Okay, so regarding the methodology we use in our study, for example, a question of uh, 51 question on the perception of uh, of the national park and tourism development was conducted to a sample of 230 respondents from uh, 10 villages surrounding the this protected area. And the sample was carried out from November 2017 and February 2018. And it was stratified by age, gender, education, income, occupation. Uh, apart from the question, uh, interviews also were directed to, for example, each village, there is a chief. For example, we meet the chief, okay, and we discuss with them about uh, how tourism is implemented in the area, what are the inconvenience they consider, and the advantages they grasp from this activity, okay? We organize also focus group. For example, in each village, we can select uh, 10 person. We selected 10 person and we, we organize a focus group by discussing on the tourism development, the management of the protected area, if they are or not involved in this, uh, in this governance. We discuss also with uh, the tourist operators. 
because uh, yes, even though these studies were implemented in a rural area, but uh, there are tourist operators who own, for example, travel agencies, hotels, okay? And we discuss also with them on their relationship with the communities uh, surrounding the, the, the protected areas. For example, if they collaborate in the tourism process or not. So we try to illustrate the social representation of tourism in the national park uh, through this image, okay? So our studies was based on uh, three main axes. That is, it, there is the axis of appropriation and expropriation, the axis of estrangement and familiarity, and the axis of exclusion and inclusion. And uh, we, uh, on top of the methodology, we managed to have uh, three clusters, and I will show you the three clusters that uh, came out of our, our, our study. For example, this is the component of the construct, okay? The construct of the expropriation and uh, appropriation. For example, we, we relied on some question of the questioner to form this, uh, this, uh, this construct. And this is the second uh, component of the second construct the concept of exclusion and inclusion. We rely also on some question to, to form the, the construct. And this is the third uh, construct and uh, its component. This is the construct of estrangement and, and familiarity. Okay, these are the central score of the three class, different cluster of our study. So, uh, we managed to identify three clusters on our study. The first cluster, we, we name it the cluster of the reluctance. The reluctance are community um, who disagree with the, the tourism uh, development system in the protected area. They are conservative for them. Uh, they are discriminated, okay? They are marginalized in the tourism process. Uh, overall, this group uh, opposed to the tourism system that is currently developed in the, in the, in the protected area. Okay, as we go to the second uh, cluster, we, we name it the cluster of the innovators. This group, uh, agree with the tourism uh, system that is developed in the area. However, they propose an alternative tourism uh, approach, uh, specifically agro-tourism. For them, uh, tourist operators and local uh, authorities uh, could uh, develop agro-tourism in their area because the main activity in this uh, setting is agriculture, okay? So when we discuss with them, the majority of this cluster, they consider that agriculture could be joined with the tourism uh, process in their area in order to better empower them and to involve them in the tourism process. So the last cluster, we call it uh, the escapist. This group, uh, uh, gather people who are not very interested in the tourism uh, process in the area. We can also call them the opportunists. For them, the only way they benefit from tourism is, for example, to get uh, known, to have a, a contact with tourists and to solve some immediate uh, problem. Or, for example, the group this group uh, consists of people who th think that one, the main uh, advantage of tourism is to, to have, a, to make friends with tourists and to be able to travel abroad, to emigrate or something like that. So overall, these are the three clusters we identify 
uh, through our our study. Okay, th this is what I was trying to explain: the different characteristic of the of the cluster, the reluctance, and what is important here in, also in the cluster of reluctant is that they anchor tourism to colonialism, because don't forget that uh, tourism development in Senegal, okay, uh, is intimately linked to colonial uh, legacy. This means that the way, uh, for example, protected areas are managed is intimately linked to, to the, the colonial legacy. And because uh, you see the foreign occupancy of the land, okay? That is a rural community uh, think that uh, local administrative authority try to please more tourists than themselves. So that's why they anchor uh, tourism to the social representation of colonialism and the struggle of uh, independence. So, I already explained it. the group of the innovator, okay? They push social change and uh, they work for a different sort of tourism development, okay? And the last uh, class also, it is the, the escapist. So as we got the discussion of the paper, the results show interesting thing. The first thing is that uh, there is uh, the potentiality of social representation theory to go deeper into the characterization group. Uh, the second uh, result is the possibility to attribute to groups properties and role that are grounded in the research. Uh, the third uh, result is the possibility to analyze the actual and potential interaction groups with different social representation of tourism in rural communities surrounding protected area. And this point is very important for me because um, as uh, one of the objectives of, of uh, my PhD or my thesis was to see how to empower rural communities. So for us, it is important to, to show that uh, there is an heterogeneity among communities. I mean, all communities don't have the same social representation to a tourism, to a tourist or to a protected areas. That's why we first try to cluster this community before proposing a, an empowerment uh, strategy or an empowerment process. Okay. And another result is that uh, it helped to fill the gap in understanding the attitude of rural communities to tourism in protected areas beyond just a mere description, okay? And the last uh, result is to achieve, to shift in local attitudes to a tourism and uh, to focus on their representation to better empower them in the tourism system and the protected area governance. So, the concluding remarks of, uh, for, future, for future research is that in view of the social, cultural, and political specificity of communities surrounding the National Park of the Alang de Barbary, we thought that the social representation theory uh, is more suited than the social exchange theory to analyze a uh, resident attitude and behavior. Because the main difference between social representation theory and social exchange theory is that uh, social action theory focus mainly on uh, tangible aspect. There is, for example, uh, financial gain community can have from the tourism. However, the social ex ex uh, the social representation theory goes further than the social action theory because it consider culture policy okay, religion, etc. And these aspects are very important, particularly in uh, rural communities that are, who are a little bit different from your urban, for example. 
Another thing also is that social representation theory help to focus power imbalances between tourist stakeholders and community surrounding the national park of La Lang de Barbary. So there is a power imbalance, okay, between urban and rural. And uh, social representation theory help us to, to better uh, see this uh, difference. Okay, this is the same with the, the asymmetrical relationship that exists between uh, rural and urban communities in the same, same area. So overall, this is the a short presentation of, uh, of our, our paper. Thank you. Thank you, Barami, for your presentation. So yeah, Welcome. let's see if any, uh, any questions from anyone? A quick question for you, um, Will McConnell from uh, Burbank, California. Um, thanks for the presentation. Do, um, do, what are your plans for expanding the study now? Thank you, Mr. Sir. Okay, the plan is that, uh, for example, in the first part uh, of my thesis, okay, this was the third, the third chapter, because after the, the theoretical framework, this was the third uh, chapter. But this, in the fourth chapter, we tried to propose an empowerment strategy of rural communities based on the cluster we already identified in the chapter. Okay, so this is the the the, the perspective of the of the research. This means that we rely on the cluster already identified to propose a strategy to better empower communities depending on the characteristic okay of their representation for tourism tourist and protected areas <laughs>